You've obviously got an inclination in social media. That's the sort of work you're doing now. Is that yeah. a paid role? Yeah, paid, okay. paid. And are you getting paid well? Yeah, I'd say for my age, for the opportunities I get, I paid mm. quite well. Yeah. Okay. And so is that is that a direction you want to continue to pursue? Do you want to be a social media influencer? Do you want to go into marketing? What, what, where is your head at? What are, what are the options in your mind? Mm. Okay. So... The reason I have such an inclination on social media was because, you know, I wanted the eyeballs. You know, I used to get a lot of views and I thought that was great until later I was like, it's just views for a sport that I don't really like. I'm just good at, you know. So I used to have like 50K followers on TikTok mm. uh, posting volleyball videos. And yeah, it felt great. There's a rush. And I thought I always wanted to be an influencer up until very recently, which is like, if I'm going to be an influencer, what do I influence about? What am I influencing? Sure. Because, uh, you know, I thought I wanted to go into self-development, you know, personal development. Like Alan Fu does a lot of this kind of stuff, but, you know, that's because he's actually lived a lot of life. But me personally, I haven't lived that much. Purely because even if I've been homeless, all of this, I'm just still 18. Mm. Right At the end of the day, I still still just a teenager. And I get that. All right. Fast forward 10 years. Fast forward 10 years. Where do years? you see yourself? Best case scenario. Oh, best case scenario. You know, I have my own house. I have a couple kids already. And I think I'm just able to do whatever I want to do. And I think I've also won some boxing championships. You want to get focused in sports more? Mm, sports Seems like boxing. you're an athlete, are you? Yeah. Yeah, growing up, I, I get the kind of lifestyle. Mm. Yeah. Um, talk to me about uh, all the medals that you've won. <laughs> You're smiling as he says that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, like I said earlier in the podcast, Sydney Boys is a very good school in volleyball because we have a very good program. So, from year seven to year 12, six years, five, six years, we compete in like three to four state cups every, every year. And... Of those state cups, we usually win all of them, mm. just because of how. Do you still play? No, okay. not at all, actually. Yeah. Well, have you considered getting back into it? Because no. I feel like if it's if you don't want to. No. Okay. No. Something that's niggling with 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 me, Paul, is um. Yeah. It, it's just really shocking, um, that you would make things harder on yourself than yeah. than they need to be. Yeah. Um, and that sounds like that is what you're doing. Yeah. Um, with regards to moving out of home. Um, are you considering moving back? No, I'm Why? not considering. Why? You've experienced it. You know it's hard. Why do you want to? Why do you want to make things more difficult for yourself? Because I feel like that it wouldn't change anything, and uh, in fact, it might just like reduce all my progress. Because the whole point was just to be an individual. What progress are you making? Knowing what it takes to live by yourself, and you know, if people make that transition when they're 24 and they move out of the parents' house and I do it when I'm 18 and I just keep going rather than coming back to safety, then in my head, I'm six years ahead of them because I'm doing things that they should be doing, but at an earlier age. Yeah, but I feel like you're, you're trying to run before you crawl. Yeah. I think the first, the first thing you should be doing is figuring out how to increase your income. Mm. Or how to increase your skill level. Mm. They're the two focuses. Okay. Not how to move out and live on your own. Yeah. You don't need to. I didn't move out of home till I was 25. For that, I was living with my mum and sisters. Mm. Um, and, you know, only once it became, you know, uh, not a problem for me to move out from a financial perspective. Uh, you know, pay rent, groceries, looking after myself. Once I was financially independent is when I moved out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think I'd, I'd, I'd reconsider it, mate. Uh, unless you're getting a lot of value out of it. I don't really know what that value is. Mm. Um, go home. Go home and then focus on the things that matter. Instead of having to focus on where you're staying at night or how you're going to get by, Focus on increasing your skill level or learning something in the comfort of your own home where you don't have to worry about other stuff that are distracting you. Mm. Um, okay. What's your response to that? Well, my response is right now, it's, I'm pretty I'm pretty G. 
So <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty G. I'm pretty G. Oh, I'm pretty G. You should have said that earlier. It's pretty G. Yeah, yeah. because <laughs> so so the the scheme part of the scheme is I get to be in this place for 13 months and I only have to pay about eighty dollars a week. Okay. Yeah, and I get my one bedroom apartment. Are you comfortable? I have Wi-Fi that I pay by myself, and yeah, I'm not stressing financially. Okay. Yeah. Good. And hey, mate, I mean, shit, a hundred bucks is pretty cheap. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah. Especially if you're receiving a full-time job. Are you working full-time? I am working full-time. Okay. Yeah. All right. I retract my statements. Yeah. It makes sense. You pretty much just wanted to be out on your own for a hundred bucks a week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. What what questions do you have for me, mate? Because it seems like you got all the answers. Okay. He's, he's no, 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 no. Hey, I'm I'm starting to like it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think I have all the answers. No, no, I was kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, but yeah, like I said, I just I don't necessarily want to know business like hardcore. What do you have to do here? I want to know how you perceive life, and I know that's very broad. That is very broad. It is very broad. Um, if I could specify, uh, well, I really asked you about purpose. Look, so, I think I think your questions like you know, why are you doing what you're doing, or you know, what is it all for? Yeah, that sort of when you see yeah. how do you perceive life? Yeah, but but you answered it. You said you know it's for your family. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I think one of the th one of the things that um, a lot of a lot of successful people a trait that they have is um, they're very conscious of time and and um, mortality. Um, Steve Jobs has a quote where he says uh, the best thing you can do is realize you're going to die, yeah. um, and so you cherish every moment, and that's how you that's how you have gratitude. Because uh, it was actually Alex Hamosi he put up a reel recently where he was mentioning yep. um, how he struggles with gratitude. And he, he thinks often now, um, this is the last time I'm going to experience this moment. Um, and it's so much more sweeter when you look at life in that way. Um, so it's about savoring the moments, I think, mm. and uh, enjoying the process. Yeah. And so that's, that's where I've focused a lot of my, you know, when I'm reflecting um, about how I'm feeling or when I'm feeling emotional. I just and, and sometimes that'll always create pressure in my head, like oh shit, I haven't achieved enough. You know, that's that that anxiety that I put on myself so that I can achieve more, uh, yeah. which is I think is necessary. Um, but whenever it becomes too much, I I can step back and um, be very thankful for how far I've come. Um, you know, I always remember the days um, you prayed for what you have now. Hmm. And so uh, that's what gratitude ultimately is. Okay. Um, and that really is, for me, it's like, holy shit, I've already won or I'm winning. Yes, I want to do more winning. Yes, I'm nowhere near where I want to be. Um, but I, I've come so far um, and I'm proud of that. Uh, but I didn't come this far, I only come this far. Uh, so it's just a constant battle of trying to one-up yourself, mate. That's yeah. the purpose of life. Yeah. Being better, being the best version of yourself every single day. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I that's what I try to do. Okay. Where possible. Yeah. I'm not perfect at it. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Then when do you think it's enough? Like you can be as specific as you can. I want. It's know. never enough. It's never enough. That that's that's the point. You're never going to reach the ultimate goal line. It doesn't exist. You know, there's been so many times where I've set a target, and we hit that target. And as soon as that target's hit, um, success is like breathing. You always need a br an, another breath of, of air. Yeah. You can't just live off the last breath yeah. of success. You always need to keep breathing. It. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that short clip from the podcast, feel free to watch more of them by clicking here. And if you want the full podcast, click here.